Hey y'all, welcome back to another SaltWise video. Today we are gonna be doing something pretty special. We're gonna be using a, a tie board to tie a really nice pompano rig. The season's coming, we're in the spring of 2022 right now, or coming upon it. So we wanna show you guys how to use one of these boards to tie a better rig than what you can get at the store. All right guys, so with this tie, what we're attempting to accomplish is something like this. They call it a pompano rig. Um, so we're going to go ahead and get started on how to do that. First things first, tell you a little bit about the board. So what we have is a little uh, peg here with our spool. And we're using this uh, Berkley uh, Big Game Green so that you can see how this is done. But we're going to simply just loop this through. And this pattern right here, we're going to bring it over and clip it right here. So we got it nice and tight. Now what we're going to do is we're going to be spinning these lines on each other like so. You could do between probably five and eight wraps, you know, depending on the size of your line. And then you're going to be bringing this like so, right through. And when you get to this part, give yourself a little extra line so you don't get any frayage. And if you're using a good fluorocarbon, even with it being this tight, you should be okay. So now all we're gonna do is just slide these off of the back pegs, pulling out our line from our clip over here on the right-hand side. And once we get it to this point, we just wanna slowly tie. And then when we get it snug down, we can pull nice and tight. And then we're also going to show you some of the quality advantages and disadvantages to using the board or hand tying the rig. Stick around. So we ended up to about a minute and 30 seconds for tying our two perfect, perfect dropper loops. Now we are going to be finishing it off by tying on our simple Palmer knot. our two palomar knots and our two dropper loops and that time went to two minutes and 58 seconds. Now I can guarantee you that the hand tied pompano rig is going to take a lot longer than this rig right here. Just with how fast I could get those dropper loops made really cut down on the time. Now I'm going to do the handmade. So we're gonna go ahead and do our Palomar knots and attach our swivels and see how long that will take. So I just got done tying my Palomar knots and the time is at three minutes and 30 seconds. Now, everything is good about this rig with the length and everything, but the one thing is the loops. And what's wrong with the loops is that they're inconsistent in the fact that one loop is bigger than the other. And that's not gonna do well when you're putting on your hooks and your beads and stuff. You want it to be a perfect rig and you don't wanna to have to worry about that stuff. Now what the rig board allows you to do, is it allows you to make consistent dropper loops with your three pegs that you have, as you saw in the last couple of clips that I was making with the rig board. And I really didn't wanna to have to worry about it while tying my handmade rigs. So that is another pro for the rig board. We have our fully tied rig board pompano rig tied up. Those loops are all equal consistency and I just used a blue float and a blue bead and gonna get this rigged up on a pole. That is gonna go ahead and wrap it up for today's video, guys. In conclusion, we all know that tying your own rigs can be hard sometimes, so if you are just looking for that extra boost to be able to make your rigs perfect, a rig board is probably gonna be the best option for you. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see y'all in the next one.